Hi, my name is Precious Osika. I write, edit, publish, teach you how to write and get paid. I create amazing videos and voiceovers. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for watching my videos. And if you're new to my channel, you are very much welcome. And please do well to subscribe and do not forget to turn on the notification uh, bell. The prompt before team Atar Group A says, write a story set in a supermarket. So before I go further to showcase the stories, I am going to say a little thing about this uh, prompt, how to approach it, okay, and uh, what we are expecting from these writers so the very first one is to understand the prompt all right to understand the prompt uh it's the is the key thing because once you understand the prompt it will be difficult you'll be able to um deliver excellently well and so the prompt says write a story set in a supermarket so uh, you cannot write outside of this you have to stick to the setting that has been given Number two is to understand the word count. So the word count is a 100 word count. Therefore, they cannot exceed 100 word count. And um, if you are a writer and you come across something like this and you feel that um, you cannot monitor your word count because there's this tendency to write more than um, words you have been asked to write. So if you want to control your word count, well, I made a video on the best apps for writers. So there are certain apps you can actually use to check out those word counts. And they will also help you when it comes to um, fine tuning your work or to check out one or two errors. So please check out the video on the best apps for writers. You can click on the description box of this um, video, the description box, just look at it. The link is there or just go to tutorial playlist okay the video is there or you can look up on the screen the video link is there too the best apps for writers the next point is get an interesting idea of course the idea has to be interesting because this kind of a prompt looks very simple but then you have to bring a very good, good, good idea that once your readers start reading, they would, you know, want to invest their time in that particular story. So think of something very, very interesting and unique. Okay. The next point is the story elements. Ensure that uh, you know what the story elements are and they are present in your work. If you don't know anything about the elements of a story or you don't understand the elements of a story, you are very, very fortunate because I made a video explaining the elements of a story. Just check the creative writing playlist, okay? Or when you check the description box of this particular video, the link is there. You can click on it or check up on the screen. The link is there. You can click on it. So what that video to really understand the elements of a story. All those elements should be present in this uh, particular prompt you uh, answering. Okay, it's very, very important. Don't say because the word count is low, you will not um, put in these elements because you will need your characters, you will need the set, you will need everything. Okay, the next point is the title. Now, the title is the first thing that hooks your readers. If your title is off, the possibility of your readers, you know, going further to read that story is, is, is slim. Okay, it's slim. So try. Just ensure that your title is interesting. It can actually lure these people to come and read your story. The next one is plot hints. So when you, you know, we giving anything in regards to the plot, nothing. So you are to come up with it. The only thing we are told is that write a story set in a supermarket. So please work on your plot. It should be nice. You do not need a large plot, okay, because we are sticking with the moment in time. It's just a scene or two, all right? So there's really no enough time for too many information, okay? And next area is the area of focus or ideas. So what kind of ideas do you want to look out for in this case? Because you will have many things on your head. 
Look out for something very interesting, something that your audience wants to know what happened at the end of the day. Okay, now in a supermarket, instead of focusing on just um, the way the supermarket is without telling a story, I'm just describing the place. No, you can bring out a story that or something that is happening in that supermarket. For instance, you can draw up a scene where uh, maybe there is a quarrel or there is a fight or there is a theft, okay, or somebody started acting in a mysterious way, you get it, okay, or you can bring out some realistic scenes of, let's say, um, somebody had an issue or misunderstanding about Q and all of that, or there's a discrimination going on in a supermarket, okay, these are the things that you can come up with, they are just ideas, alright, so you can think more than this. The next one is the writing rules and vocabulary. So your vocabulary should be top notch. This one is very important. Remember, you should show and not tell. Stop telling. Show us what's happening because your word count is low. We need to see what's happening. Use good verbs, all right? Cut down adverbs. I am not saying adverbs are wrong. They are good, but just reduce them and use stronger verbs and good figures of speech look out for your dialogue punctuations look out for anything that has to do with grammar english language rules because english language is what we are using right in telling these stories good the next point is the finishing yes you cannot write a work and you just go ahead to submit it you need to go through that work over and over again look out for errors spellings punctuations your sentence structure you just check out all of these things. They are very, very, very important. And then lastly, the delivery. Okay, how have you delivered your message? How have you delivered your story? Do we understand or are you confusing us? We need to understand, okay? So don't confuse us. Instead, let us be interested in your story. Some writers end up confusing the readers, which is really not good. You need to carry us along so your delivery should be top notch. And then also check if there is any other information or whatever you have been asked to do, okay, in regards to the delivery of your work. All right, now let's go ahead and, you know, check out these stories that have been submitted uh, by these writers. All right. story here is written by Victoria so here are the things I'm going to say about your story uh, number one your title is okay uh, please watch your spellings okay watch your spellings and put your dialogues properly the dialogue punctuation arrange them properly ensure they are in order please check that very well Okay, if you don't know how to punctuate your dialogues, please, please, please um, try to know how to do it. Okay, then edit well. You have a good story, but because you didn't put some of these things in place, it now looks as though your story is not good. Okay, please ensure you put all of these things in order. Editing is, is a big deal when it comes to writing. You need to learn how to um, edit your work. Okay. I trust you are going to do that. Well done. The next story here is written by Morris. Um, your story has potential, but it is poorly executed. There's a whole lot going on in your story. I have a lot to say about it, but then I do not want to dwell too much so that you don't um, lose interest or you don't feel bad. But I have to tell you the truth. Please, please work harder okay work harder you have a good story but you need to execute it well so that we can understand your story edit put things in place okay put things in place i am going to suggest that you take a writing course 
take a writing course. It's very, very important. The next story here is written by Bukola. Okay, uh, Bukola, you have a nice story, all right? But of course, you should try to uh, cross your, t your T's and dot your I's, okay? Please edit well. Edit, read your work over and over again. And you can um, add some tension to your work. If everybody is writing this way, you can try to be unique. You can try to be different. Okay? Please, I want to do that. And I believe, I believe um, you are going to um, put all of these things in place. Okay? I'm banking on you. The next story here is written by Miracle. Lovely attempt, okay? Just work on your delivery. Work on your delivery and ensure you edit well, okay? Work on your delivery, work on the editing and try to add some tension to your story. Let's feel um, your story, okay? Uh, at a point, I felt like you were so focused on the uh, setting. So, I kind of like the setting is I understand what you're saying there but the story somehow was lost because you were just so focused on the setting okay and once you work on your editing you'll be able to um, pass your message clearly so please just work on these things and check out your spelling it's very important now look at your title just look at it you'd see that or is that the way you wanted to spell it because if it's what I think then your spelling is not correct Okay, and that story is written by Ogochuku. All right, Ogochuku, nice story. It has a huge potential, um, fine title, but please put in more effort in ensuring that you bring your story to life. Okay, and then work on your sentence structures. Please take note of these things. I hope it is clear. I want to see you um, better than what you have done. Okay. The next story is written by Jessica. Good story, good description, nice story. Um, it's outside the usual um, kind of story. Okay, cool. But I know you can do better. You need to keep improving. Okay, you need to keep improving. Keep reading books. If possible, take a course. You are free to explore and you are free to deliver better. Okay, good job. Well done. The next story is written by Esther. Nice narration, okay? Very, very good attempt. But please try to show and don't tell. Reduce your telling. Show us more. Remember that your word count is low, okay? Just improve, improve. Give us vivid, uh, vivid uh, imageries, okay? Vivid imageries. Please try to improve. All right, all right. Well done, well done. So. Guys, I am done dropping my opinions about the story, so I want to hear from you or what do you have to say, family? Uh, let me hear your thoughts about the words. And please do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. This is the, the best way you can support me. I am not paid for any of this, okay? So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep inviting your friends to come over. Yes, you can share the link of this video to your friends so that they can come over to watch, okay? And they can subscribe too. And yes, you are very free to watch over and over again non-stop. And you are free to watch all the videos on this channel. Thank you very much.